Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxis 3D Shallow Foundation course from Theory to Practice. This is uh, lesson 45. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to simulate a piled raft foundation using Plaxis uh, 3D. So as we know, this course is mostly focused on shallow foundation, but we also will have one example about the piled raft foundation and how can we uh, simulate and model uh, the pile uh, groups in Plaxis uh, 3D. So we will have uh, an example like uh, this uh, figure. We have the mud foundation which is uh, 16 meters by 16. Also we have number of uh, the piles uh, which are uh, 4 by 4 which are uh, 16 uh, piles and the pile diameter is 1.5 which are uh, the board piles. Also the center to center spacing between the piles are uh, 3.5 meters and uh, the pile length also is uh, 15 uh, meters okay and uh, we will have uh, two uh, soil layers so uh, the first uh, soil layer which is uh, 13 uh, meters are a medium dense sand also uh, the bottom uh, soil layer we have uh, the strong uh, soil layer which is a uh, limestone also we will apply uh, 200 kilonewton per square meter to the mud foundation as a surface load so our uh, soil geometry will be like this one we will uh, uh, use these boundary conditions which are uh, 100 uh, 100 meters by 100 meters so i think this uh, this boundary uh, these soil contours are enough uh, and it will not affect the results of the problem also uh, the height uh, for the two soil layers will be uh, 60 meters in uh, lesson uh, 45 simulation of pile foundation uh, pile trap foundation using plaxis uh, 3d and i think right now everything is okay we can uh, start calculation
Okay, as you can see, uh, the calculation is uh, finished and uh, we don't have any error or warning in our problem. It's okay, so we save the project again. And uh, first, we will uh, see how much uh, the displacement in case uh, of Umpire Draft Foundation. So we click on here and we uh, check the results. So we can see in here the maximum displacement is about 0 0.2 meters, it's about 20 centimeters. Actually it is a very big settlement or displacement and it is not acceptable in geotechnical engineering or foundation engineering. So uh, we will check the displacement after uh, construction of uh, the pile. So we click on here and uh, we can see the displacement is uh, very less if we compare to uh, the umpire trust foundation which is about uh, seven millimeters and which is uh, less than one centimeter uh, it means 0 0.7 centimeter uh, also we can uh, if we uh, hide the surface slot we can uh, see the displacement uh, shape we can see in here this is a deformed shape uh, do not worry about this shape because it is not a real uh, scale as we can see in, in here it is uh, 500 times uh, larger than the true scale so we can uh, click on view we can uh, click on a uh, scale maybe we uh, decrease the scale to 100 so we can see this is a 100 scale larger than the true scale uh, deformation of uh, the problem and uh, this one when we didn't have the raft foundation so in here as we can see we have a high uh, amount of the settlement also this one is not a true scale we can uh, click on a uh, view and click on true scale in here we can see this is a true scale of uh, the problem and the maximum displacement is uh, zero point uh, about 0 0.19 uh, meters which is uh, almost equal uh, 20 centimeter and we can check the uh, total displacement uh, contours for example if we click on here and we can take the displacement we can take a vertical cross section we can see in here this is a displacement uh, contours uh, in uh, unpiled raft foundation and displacement vectors if we uh, select the loading after uh, the pile raft foundation as we can see in here we will not have anything in here uh, so if I close this one again and if we take the cross section again in here as we can see in here this is a displacement contour in case of uh, the pile foundation as we can see in here and also we can uh, check uh, the forces in uh, the mud foundation and in the pile so if i click select still uh, select uh, or uh, select structure and double click on the foundation so we can uh, check the display uh, we can check the moment at one one direction as we can see we have uh, the maximum negative moment at uh, the pile uh, location also the moment in the other direction and also we can uh, check the forces in we can check the forces in the piles if i uh, come to here expand this uh, soil if i un if i hide uh, the first uh, soil volume we can see this is the displacement displacement uh, contours at uh, at the last of the first three layer so if i click on here 
and double click on one pile so this is a displacement so if I click on force in here axial we can uh, see the maximum axial uh, force in this pile is 4,631 uh, kilonewton so if I want to uh, see the reaction at all the piles so I click in here and press control uh, shift and double click on one of the piles so after that we can uh, click on force and normal force we can see the reaction at each uh, pile as you can see in here and also we can uh, check uh, the moment in one one direction and two two direction also we can uh, check uh, the shear force and also we can uh, in here we can take a horizontal uh, cross section for example if I click on here and if I write 47 the base uh, of uh, uh, the the height which uh, is uh, the pile uh, located on the base of the piles so if I select again no. if I click on here can take 48 as you can see in here or maybe we can uh, select it the other height maybe 50 meter okay as you can see in here this is a displacement at uh, this elevation okay uh, friend uh, this was uh, for uh, this example and uh, i hope it was uh, clear thank you for watching see you in the next uh, lesson